Hi everyone, this is Edmund with a quick tutorial on how to add your website to Cloudflare for improved security and site speed. If you have any questions, you can contact me at edmundiamlicious.com. And for the complete list of steps on how to optimize your WordPress website, please visit iamlicious.com slash wordpress dash optimization slash or click the link in the video description below. To add your website to Cloudflare, you have to first sign up for an account. Click on sign up. Here you can just type in the email address that you want to register your Cloudflare account with. Copy and paste it into this column again. After you have enter your email address, the next thing you want to do is to select a username for your account followed by your password. After you're done, you can just check this box, I agree to Cloudflare's terms of use and click on the create account now button. After you have created the account, the next thing you want to do is to add your website. So you just have to type in your domain name. So in this case, I'm using the Tide Health example again, tidehealth.com. After you're done, you can just click on add website. So right now it's waiting and scanning my records. So this video will explain to you how Cloudflare works. So you can view the video while it scans your records. So after the scan is complete, you have to click on the continue button. Now you will be required to configure your DNS records. So just leave it as it is. So after you're done, you can click on I've added all missing records. Continue. Here they'll ask you to select the plan that you want. I normally use the free plan. Click on OK. So the performance, I'll leave it as it is. The security, I'll leave it as medium. The automatic IPv6, I'll leave it as on. The smart errors, I'll leave it as on partial as well. Click on continue. So as I've hosted my domain with the tiger tag, there are three name servers here. So I have to delete one of the name server and then change the first two name servers to these two name servers that I have here. So since I've hosted my domain with Danadot, which is another domain registrar that I've used, I'll log into my domain registrar account now and then look for the domain in question. So I'll scroll down and look for tighthealth.com. So the next thing I need to do is to change the name servers I'll click on the name server details now here I'll remove all the name servers first and enter the first two name servers that I've gathered from the Cloudflare which is the charles.ns.cloudflare.com copy it and then right click paste it into name server one and the next one is the Jessica Cloudflare as well right click copy it paste it in the, into the name server section paste it in and click on enter name servers so I've successfully changed my name servers to the two name servers from Cloudflare so after I'm done I'll click on I've updated my name servers continue so now it says that congratulations, you have completed the setup for tidehealth.com. That means I've added Cloudflare for my tidehealth.com successfully. So the next thing I'll do is go to settings, click on Cloudflare settings. For this automatic IPv6, I'll select full. And for the pseudo IPv, I'll just leave it as off. And for the SSL certificate, I like to select as flexible SSL. Mobile redirect, so this is only for pro version. I'll not be able to amend it. Next, I'll go to security settings. I'll leave it as medium. So you can actually enable this hotline protection for your images to prevent off-site linking. So I'll on this. So this is very important because you do not want other people to use your link on your website to copy and paste your image. So hot link protection is very important if you want to save your website's bandwidth. For the performance settings, I'll leave this as custom, this as aggressive. For the minimum expired TTL, I'll select 8 days. The auto minify web optimization, all this I'll just leave it as it is because I've already used W3 total cache to do that. For the rocket loader, I'll select automatic. And that's all guys, that's basically how you add your website to Cloudflare and configure the Cloudflare settings. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at admin.imlicious.com and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for listening and goodbye.